Two words that will probably send shivers down the spines of North Americans who endured last winter, polar vortex. And this weekend we'll see its return as the perfect storm brews near Alaska and is expected to push the Arctic air through parts of Canada and the U.S. Jackson Prosco now on the expected impact and what it might signal for the winter ahead. Packing more energy than Superstorm Sandy, the remnants of Typhoon Nuri, now a meteorological bomb, barreling toward Alaska's remote Aleutian Islands. 15-meter oh. high waves like these and winds of more than 120 kilometers per hour will lash the coast. But it's the storm's powerful influence on the jet stream across North America that will have millions shivering. It's headed our way and we are in the bullseye. Most of Canada and the U.S. will feel a big chill as temperatures plummet, potentially impacting 243 million people. Look at next week at the same time, minus 18 Calgary, minus 9 in Denver, minus 4 in Toronto. It's going to feel even colder than that. A big change and it has a lot to do with the jet stream, all because of Nuri heading up towards the Arctic. It's the same polar vortex that crept south last winter. Remember scenes like these? This time around, it's only November, and some parts of the southern U.S. have already set new records for earliest snowfall ever. From Alberta to the Midwest to the Great Lakes, they're bracing for snow. Parts of Maine and New Brunswick have already seen an entire month's worth of the white stuff. They're now expecting even more, a sign perhaps of a wicked winter to come. That's the big question right now. It does look like this winter across much of North America could be another severe one. But not everyone will feel the chill. California, struggling through one of the most severe droughts on record, remains locked in a pattern of warm, dry air as the icy blast strikes but fails to bring relief to those who need it most. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.